to build a wind turbine you need tape, cutting tool, four cups, skewer, and something to poke a hole. The first thing you'll do is tape two cups together. You should go around at least once, probably two times or three times. Once you've done that with two cups, you'll do it again with your other two cups. So now you will have a total of four cups that have been turned into two cups. The next thing you'll do is tape them on top of each other, one horizontal, one vertical, and reinforce it as best as you can. You could also use duct tape if you wanted it to be stronger. Next, I take a little push pin and poke a hole to get it started. And then I take the skewer and make the hole even larger. And then at that time, what you'll want to do is take some scissors and cut the hole even larger. The skewer will be the axle for the turbine and it needs to float freely in those two holes. And here you'll see I'm just cutting and doing the best that I can to make the holes a little bit larger. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you the better circle you have, the less friction you'll have. Then I'm going to cut another cup out and cut a circle disc. And what this will do is go on the skewer and protect it from hitting the edge of your turbine. And I'm going to poke a hole and put the skewer through it. And this, you'll, you may have to try a few different versions of this, but the goal is to tape this on so that the blades don't end up hitting the turbine. And so you may have to adjust this or make some iterations. And the reason why I chose the plastic piece to make my circle is because I figured it would have less friction rubbing up the uh, against the other plastic. So this prevents the axle from pushing all the way in. Then I just grab a, a couple of different um, containers that were cylinders and depending on how you build your blades um, I figured somewhere right around two and a half inches to three inches is a good size, but you may want to play around with that as well. Then in centimeters, I just made a four centimeter base. Then at the two centimeter mark, I drew a line, and now what I'm going to do is make a triangle. Again, this is something the students can play around with different sizes and even different shapes for their turbine blade. And the halfway mark gives me a space to also bend it and fold it in half. I'm going to make four turbine blades. You could test three. You could even test two. Now I'm going to bend it and then I'm going to build four more or three more of these blades so that I have a total of four. So I'm just tracing them. Now I have four and now I'm taping those four blades to and I cut little slits and place the turbines or the, uh, the blades in those slits so I have a pitch or an angle. So I made four slits 
and just place them in there and I bend them and I've taped them and again this is something you're gonna have to mold and shape and now I'm gonna secure the base to a piece of cardboard and again this could be duct tape and this is so when the kinetic energy or the wind hits the blades that it doesn't push the cup over so this is what it looks like I've done the best I can to support the base I'm testing it to see if it spins well and now I'm going to take some thread and I'm going to tie it to the back of the axle and now I'm blowing upwards with a hair blower and you can see I've taped a penny to the to the line or the thread now we're going to put this in slow motion so we can talk a little bit about the science behind a wind turbine the energy in the wind is called kinetic energy and this kinetic energy hits the turbine blades which forces the rotor or shaft to spin resulting in mechanical energy so we have a transfer of energy taking place um, a generator can take the mechanical power and turn it into electricity and your challenge is to see how many pennies you can pick up using this kinetic energy. Good luck and have fun.